All right, in this geek tip, I'm going to show you how to create your own special character, your own font, if, so to speak. Um, there'll be times when you'll find you can't find a font that works for what you want to, to display inside of a document, and uh, you just can't find one in all the fonts that are installed on Windows, and uh, it happens. And uh, there is a way around it. You can actually create your own special character, your own special font. It's a, a built-in program inside of Windows. There are no shortcuts to it. You have to know exactly where it's at. So let me go ahead. I'm going to bring up the private character editor. Uh, I actually have created a shortcut down here on my toolbar. You actually see down here. But to actually bring it up the first time, you have to actually do it from a run dialog box. It's actually over in the Windows System 32 directory. So let me just bring up a, a run dialog box. I'm going to use the uh, start button, the Windows logo key plus R. That brings up run. And uh, if I wanted to right click on the uh, start logo, I get run here too. And the, the actual name of the program or the, the, the its given name is EUDC edit so uh, basically first time you do it you have to do it from run dialog box or you can actually bring it up in uh, Windows Explorer and go into the Windows directory and uh, create a shortcut from there I actually did that already but I'll go and show you where it's at here so we'll go down here to System 32. Go down. Scroll down to letter E. Alright. Come down here. We're going to find it. EU DC edit okay so this is your private character editor so we'll go ahead just start it up we can actually if we wanted to if you use a lot you can actually right click on that program pin to start um, I've already got it pinned to the taskbar so now, if you want to make a shortcut, you can drag it over, or make a shortcut, yada, yada, yada. So, let me show you real quick. Uh, I've already actually created my Windows logo here. It's pretty rudimentary. Um, everything's done in black because, you know, as you know, you can change the color of a font and the size of the font. So, basically, we use the rudimentary tools over here on the side to actually draw the the font the character that I wanted to use and I drew it up there's my my Windows logo there so let me go ahead and show you how I would go about using that so you have to actually use the character map inside of Windows and then, yes this one does have a shortcut to it so we're gonna go all apps and we're on Windows 10 here so we're gonna scroll down to Windows Accessories. We're going to go to Character Map. Okay, so we've got Character Map here. If we pull down the font names, okay, we're going to scroll up and we're going to actually see all fonts. And it says Private Characters. And there's my Windows logo. So, so now we've found it there. But we've got to have a program to put it into. So let's go ahead. Let's bring up WordPad. WordPad's down there in the Windows Accessories too. So. Let me just bring up WordPad right now. Bingo. There's WordPad. So switch back over. Let's select that font. Let's copy that font. And now let's just paste that font. Bam. There's our our font. Our little log Windows logo key. So, so let's go ahead and Windows logo. And we'll uh, let's raise those up a little bit. Make them a little bit bigger so we can actually see it. There we go. Windows logo. And you see my little custom little logo right there. 
I can actually highlight it. I can actually bring it up in size if I wanted to. Windows logo. Yeah, I can do anything I can do with a font. I can do with this one. So, if, say if I wanted to change its color. Okay. I can do that. You know what? I really like blue. So, blue. And we can also use some of the other font uh, uh, settings. So, we can subscript. We can take it down. We can take it up you know we can do anything we can do with a font we can do with it so comes in real handy when you want to utilize a, uh, a font or a character that doesn't exist in any of the the installed fonts on your computer and uh, it, it really just really works out quite well that way you can insert it in your document and not have any problems it, you know unlike having to insert a graphic you gotta resize it you gotta move the text around it and yada 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 now we're just you know we're, we're just straight up just uh, you know we can just keep typing and uh, you know we, we can just keep going right behind it so it's a, a great way you know if you need to create a special character to utilize inside of your Windows programs, this is probably the best thing you can get. And you know, it's a little hidden gem inside of Windows, but once you know it's there and you know how to use it, it's pretty gosh darn simple to to make it make it uh, work for you. So, for more geek tips, go on over to geeksinphoenix.com. And uh, I think that's it. So you have a great day, and we'll. Talk to you later.